I will tell you that we uh, could not have ended up with three more uh, talented and wonderful actors and people. Uh, we have Oscar Isaac, we have Daisy Ridley, and John Boyega. Um, what, what can you tell us about the characters they play? Ray, uh, Finn, well, I, I'll Poe tell you, um, I think rather than me tell anything about them, I think they should. We should, we should bring them out. Let's bring them out. Please welcome Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and Oscar Isaac. Where do we discover Ray in this movie, Daisy? Hey y'all, again. Um, we discover Ray on the desert planet Jakku. Um, she is a scavenger in like a ship graveyard and she is like completely self-sufficient. She does everything for herself and very solitary until she meets another character and an adventure begins. Finn is the first character we see in, this, in The Force Awakens, he was the first face that appeared in that teaser trailer last November. You're... John. He's in, a, he's in a stormtrooper uniform, but people are wondering, is he in disguise? Is he an actual stormtrooper? So tell us, how do we meet Finn in this movie? Well, first of all, Star Wars celebration. What's up? What? Insane. So how to do that. So we find Finn, um, he's in incredible danger, and the way in which he decides to react to this danger um, changes his life, number one, and launches him into the Star Wars universe in a very unique way. Uh, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. Oscar Isaac. What's up, everybody? The only character on stage who has two names, Poe Dameron. We see him piloting an X-Wing fighter. We saw you in the uniform there. So tell us about... Yes. Tell us about playing this guy. Who is he? He's the best frickin' pilot in the galaxy. That's who he is. <laughs> He's been sent on a mission by a certain princess. And uh, he ends up coming across Mr. John Boyega's character and their fates are forever intertwined. There are moments where the pressure of what we're doing, the responsibility of what we're doing, um, honoring the, the legacy, but using the legacy to tell a brand new story that moves forward and makes the fans proud, it's, it's the most important thing that we're all working on. And I will say that uh, though there are moments of I don't know, I'd say uh, sheer horror uh, at, at what that is. The reality is I've never had more fun in my life working on anything. And the, the opportunity far outweighs the risk of this. And I can't wait for you to see the movie. I don't think there's anything more important in the Star Wars universe than the fans. You guys talk to us all the time about everything, and we take that really seriously. So one of the things that's been noted about this film is, uh, is Star Wars has always pushed the boundaries of visual effects, but you're kind of taking a retro approach this time around. You build a lot of practical sets. <laughs> wow. I, I hear people like that. We needed a standard. And we needed to set a standard that was real, that felt like you, know, you knew the people were in those places. The way the light interacts with the set, you want, to, you want it to be legitimate, you want it to be authentic. And so building as much as we possibly could uh, was really the mandate. Who is more excited, the newcomers like yourselves or the veteran actors from the original trilogy? Um, the original actors were coming back to a universe they absolutely loved, and we were joining a universe we were yet to love as much as we do now. So we were all excited, and then coming here today <laughs> has made it so much more exciting. Like, all of us are so... cannot wait to show you guys what we've done. But there are some other folks who are here, people you know, people you love. We're gonna bring them out, too. So please welcome, you know him as C-3PO. Anthony Daniels. Princess, diplomat, freedom fighter, 
Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. Chewbacca himself, Peter Mayhew. And Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. I've got to say thank you for your, your kindness, your support, your affection for the whole project, and especially, in my case, for a character that I am very, very fond of. It's kind and nice to get back into furry suit because I can go anywhere in the world and still be comfortable. <laughs> and also the mere fact that I wouldn't have been associated with these guys if I didn't have the walking carpet as a certain young lady calls me. So, it's been great. You guys are what this is all about, and we are there. We're going to enjoy it, and I hope everybody else does. It should be great. Let's enjoy it. Princess Leia was always very fashion forward. Are we going to see any return to those classic hair buns from the original movie this time around? The buns are... You know, they're tired now, so we're probably not going to have the futuristic buns, but I think we have an alternate thing that you'll be very into, which is not the metal bikini. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I promise. We just have a simple message, not just to all of you in this room, but to people watching us around the globe, and that's a simple thank you, because if it weren't for the UPFs, ultra-passionate fans, we wouldn't be here. And it never ceases to amaze me. And I'm so grateful for your support, your enthusiasm, and yes, your passion. Because over the years, all, my entire adult life, I felt such love from you. And uh, you're more than just fans, you're family. It's, it's surprisingly quiet because everybody's holding their phones. <laughs> So these guys have to say goodbye now. Thank you guys, everyone, so much for coming out. Thank you for, for joining us at Celebration, for kicking it off right. So uh, honestly, uh, and I know that we've said thank you a lot to you guys, but I just need to say it one more time uh, on behalf of, of Kathy and myself and to everyone who's watching uh, who's not here, we cannot thank you enough. Uh, the, uh, the energy that you guys are uh, Throwing our way is evidence of the force, and we couldn't be more grateful.